Hi everyone, welcome to Budapest, Hungary. I'm at the tail end of my 11 day tour of Central Europe and I want to discuss with you about perspective and I've done that before on the channel but in this week's video I primarily want to talk about tripod height in relation to perspective and how it can dramatically change your viewer's experience of your images and give you more balance in your shots. It goes without saying that perspective is incredibly important in architecture photography, but getting it right can sometimes be incredibly challenging. Today, I'm in a very small space with this interesting staircase with lots of lines and shapes. In terms of perspective, there's many things that go into it. Ultimately, lens choice is probably one of the biggest ones, settings being the second, and, and kind of maybe your white balance and things like that. But one often overlooked element of perspective is your tripod height in relation to the architecture. And that's what we're gonna be discussing today. So as I was walking around this scene here, I was doing an Instagram story, and I realized that over there was quite a nice visual. Maybe not particularly exactly there, maybe it's along these steps somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've mounted my Canon R5 and my 17 mm tilt shift on the front of it with the adapter. So this lens is uh, f4 and i'm going to select f8 to shoot this architecture the sharpest point of this lens and secondly i'm going to double my iso because it's just going to double my speed on site it's going to give me quicker exposure times but usually you're looking for your lowest possible iso in the scene that's available to you and depending on how long you've got available on site so what i mean by that is when you walk in you might only have a limited amount of time in which case you can speed up your workflow and don't be frightened to boost your iso if you need to modern cameras such as the r5 and amazing even at higher ISO so it's nothing to be scared of anymore with modern post-processing techniques but I'm going to be using 200 it's a fairly decent low number and it's going to make this thing go pretty quick that's going to give us an exposure time of around half a second I guess but I'm going to have a quick look at it in camera now okay so first things first then now we've discussed settings as I want to get this camera in position now when I said to you I was walking around here doing an Instagram story and I kind of like this sort of area. So we need to get our tripod up. I've got to be careful with my lens when I do this, but I need to get my tripod to where I believe it needs to be. So full height usually. I'm normally working with the camera on tripod. This is six foot tripod. The problem is there's a step here. So I'm just going to reduce the, one of the legs so I can get it flat. And that's basically now where I'm at. I'm going to position myself a bit more against the wall. So to be honest with you, in here, you can position your camera on the tripod anywhere around here and the same the other side of the stairs in terms of framing the shot it looks interesting from here there's kind of an art uh, kind of a heart shape from the angle i'm currently standing at and it's the same as what i've got in camera basically now i wasn't far off in my prediction of the setting let's say that iso 200 f8 is 0.4 so pretty spot on and I'm going to take the middle frame. I've, my, my actual composition looks decent. The only thing I can say about that is I've made sure the balance is right. There's a step coming around here and there's one coming around there and I've made sure that they're even on either side. So that's the main thing. I'm going to shoot that. Now, this is making a panoramic. I'm going to go top, middle and bottom. And that's the equivalent cropped of probably 12, 13 mil. So you could do this shot easily yourself on a kind of super wide angle lens if you don't have something like a 17 mil tilt shift. So that's the top one done. And finally, we're gonna do the bottom one. And yeah, like I said, everything looks decent. Okay, so I've got the shot positioned with the tripod nice and high. Now we're gonna look for an alternative viewpoint. Let's get it a little bit lower in the frame. 
Let's pull our camera height down, which is going to make my position a little bit more uncomfortable being a six foot guy, but let's do that. So this is our kind of go-to one, right? We just walked up the stairs, grab the camera, put it on the tripod, and shot up kind of eye level. Let's lower down, let's get lower framed. this I'm probably going to have to kind of watch my LCD as I'm doing it a little bit which I want to be careful of I don't want to bang it and um, I think we can go lower than that to be honest I think we can kind of come in here um, yes we can so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this down all the way and position myself in such a manner like so. Of course, making sure my tripod's nice and balanced out. And then we're going to be doing exactly the same thing again. Now, of course, for me, I can just flip my LCD up a tiny bit. I mean, it always rotate, it always goes upside down, which doesn't help you. And I'm just going to check that my camera's level here as well, which to be honest with you, it probably is. Now, I'm just going to check my frame in throughout. Mm, it's okay. I'm going to just move my angle ever so slightly and just make sure I've got what I need. I could actually come further around as well with this particular shot. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And with that, that means that I need to put my leg down a bit further. And uh, yeah, I think I'm happy now. If I wanted to now from here, let me bring you closer. All right. Okay, so again, what I'm doing here is my camera's in position. We're in a quite a tight space, so I'm just trying to be patient with it. I'm getting the balance right again with the kind of, you know, left and right of the framing. And my middle bracket is pretty much good to go. I'm just going to make it sharp. It's a manual focus lens, so I've just focused there. And then finally what we're doing is we're going to just take our three brackets once again. And that's that one, so then we're doing the top and finally the bottom. And basically, I reckon uh, my tripod height is, I say six foot, what is that? Around 182 centimeters. So the banister height and our tripod currently are probably sitting around 90. And that's the clue. So I haven't changed much in frame, you know, in terms of my actual framing and composition. What I have just changed is that tripod height and it's just given me a different balance, a completely different look really to what I had previously. Uh, there's less ceiling and there's more of the stairs and I'm gonna show you those results now. They're pretty much done. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy, I'm good. Okay, so from this position, we could actually pull the center column up and get ourselves a middle shot as well if the balance was still not quite right. We have too much floor in, if I now just adjust the center column up a tiny bit, we probably get the correct result. Let's just do that. So what I've just done there is I've just pulled up the center column a fraction, probably, I don't know, 20 centimeters or so. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna give the balance a little bit of difference. It's gonna reduce the floor a tiny little bit, pull in a little bit more ceiling, but more importantly, and the most important thing is it might just lift it slightly over the railing, just so that it's lower in the frame. And that's it. I think that's the final image. Okay, so you saw there three images. We had our tripod six foot, my height, which is 180, 182 centimeters. We've then gone for a really low shot. And finally, we found kind of a happy medium, a middle shot. So let's check them all out.
Okay, so that's the end of my road trip, an 11 day tour that has taken me right through Central Europe. I've put a huge new playlist on those videos for you so you can check them all out. And uh, there's loads. And I've also, of course, started the members only area. Uh, well, I haven't yet, but when I get home, I'll, I'll start it and you'll see those videos. There's some exclusive ones in there already, some behind the scenes ones. We name, we shame, we talk about the locations and we give you much more in that hidden area as well. Join today, I highly recommend you check it out. So I mentioned that I've got other videos on perspective on the channel and I highly recommend you check out the main one linked here above. It gives you a real insight into the kind of perspective and visuals that you can create in these sorts of spaces. So as I've just seen, the impact on your viewer's vision of your photography can dramatically change depending on the height of your tripod. Now I've got some ideas for you. It can be very difficult to kind of walk into a scene, walk around a space, and of course I highly recommend doing that. Problem is when you do it, is everything is eye level. So the best thing and the best tip I can give you is probably to walk around the scene maybe with your mobile phone, get it in landscape orientation, walk around the scene, get lower, get higher, and actually check how that's gonna impact the kind of visuals that you're looking at. So how the architecture is gonna alter as you get higher or lower in the back of your mobile phone. It can be easy to position yourself. Once you've done so, get your tripod, move it into position, lock your camera down and get shooting. One of the best tips I can give you is to reduce your tripod's height first of all. Get those small legs in, the short ones, you know, the, the bottom ones in to make the tripod nice and solid. And then if you've got it, a nice solid center column will go a long, long way in terms of small adjustments to your composition overall as you're going through your images. Okay, so that's it for this week. Nice little video, all about the perspective. These videos always go down quite well, so and it was a long overdue update to the perspective kind of series that I've been pulling together. I don't always like to talk about gear, but in-camera techniques I particularly enjoy, and I like to tell you about them and some ideas about architecture photography. So I hope that's helped you. Leave any comments if you've got them below. Until next time, see you soon, guys.